All right, well, this morning we begin our day today with some sun, some low clouds out there. A little bit of some haze here in town, not too shabby as we start off our day, but definitely muggy. Fog not really an issue for much of the area. Some fog down in Homa, but the rest of us looks like we do have some mostly clear skies and conditions out there where temperatures are coming in 74 degrees. Now the dew point in the upper 60s to lower 70s, so we still have those muggy conditions across much of the area this morning. It'll stay that way throughout the day today. 74 in the east, 72 Bell Chase and Homa, even as warm as 76 in Bures, but still in the 60s across the I-12 corridor northward here. Bogalusa 64, 67 right now in Slidell with over to Hammond coming in at 66 degrees. If you want some chilly temperatures, head to Chicago, Kansas City area in the 40s there. How about below freezing in Minneapolis? 31. They're expecting some snow up there back in Wisconsin and they can have it too early for that, right? How about Atlanta coming in 60? Same for DC, but New York City coming in at 62 degrees. And as you look throughout the day today, we'll see a lot of sunshine, a few clouds from time to time. Temperatures back in the mid 80s looks pretty nice out there as well too. We'll get to about 86 degrees uh, across the Slidell area back to New Orleans, Kenner, Metairie over toward Gentilly, 85 from Hammond and Pontchatoula, maybe 80, 87 Gonzales back to Gramercy heading to Homa today. Bell Chase about 85, so still above our normal, which is 79 for this time of year. Now view allergy suffers moderate levels still of some ragweed pollen out there, so you probably need your allergy meds. My allergies were killing me this morning, so had to take one of those this morning. Uh, we wish to get some rain to clear out the uh, allergies, the pollen but not expecting much out there. Maybe one or two random showers. That is it today as high pressure still sits over the southeast, blocking all these fronts from coming on in. So you'll see again maybe one or two random showers today. Little bit of some patchy fog, a couple clouds for tonight. Tomorrow, same thing. Again, partly cloudy, maybe one or two showers out there. Thursday morning starts to change a little bit. A little more cloud cover, and then we do have a better chance of rain coming into play Thursday as our next weather maker. Part of a trough of low pressure and tropical wave stretching from Florida back down toward the northwestern Caribbean where there's kind of a big or broad area low pressure sitting down here. Water vapor shows little upper level low kind of spinning here near Florida. That's going to lift to the north, but this whole trough and wave kind of works its way off to the east and move rather to the west and moves toward the Yucatan Peninsula. Low chance of development only at 10% with this, but you can see here again, there's the big circulation with it, but that moisture gets thrown our way starting on Thursday, continuing on Friday as well. So that's our wet weather days out there. Then a front actually will sweep across the southeast United States, not really cooling us down, but it does take that rain away from us as we headed to the weekend, so that'll be very welcome. So our chance of rain does get up to about 60% on Friday, so that'll be the wettest day we've seen in quite some time, actually, before the chance of rain decreases on Saturday. Dew point numbers stay in the 70s today, 60s tomorrow, but then practically 70 or greater into next week before our next front comes in. That would have come through Tuesday and Wednesday and finally some below normal temperatures, but we have to wait to about next Wednesday till we feel that, so it's going to be a while. October 28th through Halloween looks like we'll have at least some more comfortable weather for us, which would be great. So so in the short term, 86 today, tomorrow, there's the rain Thursday and Friday. Not bad this weekend with the chance of rain increasing Monday ahead of that next front.